What is your artist name and how did you come up with it? Uh, my artist name is Ego Death, and I got it from a really bad experience on psychedelics that forced me to be humble and just made me look at the world a little differently. So I chose to stick by that. What's your background and what what got you into music? Well, my parents were born in the Dominican Republic, but we moved to New York, Queens to be exact, far away. So yeah, I'm from New York and what got me into music, music's been around for like forever. My mom always had it on all the time in the mornings. My dad always had it in the car, like, Music was just always around. I just didn't think I was worthy enough to release any music myself. But after doing poetry and just getting comfortable with my own voice, I just decided to try and then I fell in love ever since. If it wasn't for music, where would you be now? I think I'd still be tattooing. I tattoo on the side. I don't know. I think music would have found its way regardless. I couldn't picture myself not doing music. In what way do you aim to make a difference? I pray that my message come across as wanting to find your own self and not letting others dictate your life in any way. I hope that at least it happens subconsciously through my music. Who are your icons and why? Uh, I'd say one of them is Bob Marley, just because he had the same idea, trying to change the world through music. Um, I'd say Amy Winehouse as well, just because she was really raw with her feelings and her music. That doesn't happen often. And, uh, Michael Jackson, he just, he had a love for that. There's just no doubt I'm not putting him in there. How would you describe your just your style of music? So in the beginning, I wanted to prove that I could rap, so I would go towards like conscious rap. But then I realized that it's like more about the feeling, and that's what people remember. They don't really remember too much words. Neither do I, at least. I still have love for it. You know, I'm a poet at heart, but I would say that I gravitate more towards like, I don't know, I guess I could say alternative. If you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be and why? <laughs> I would definitely collaborate with Dominic Fike, just because he's fucking awesome. Um, and he's from here, Florida. I would definitely collaborate with Alan Raymond, just because that guy has so much soul in him. And Kali Uchis, because she also has a lot of soul. She's Hispanic, and I think it would just be perfect for the culture. What's your favorite project so far and why? I'd say the project that I'm working on right now is my favorite because it's been my most truest form of art in any way. I'm just excited to let everybody hear that. How do you put your words to paper? What's your creative process like? Um, I'm pretty routine. Like I tend to write at night. When I was working at McDonald's, I would just write either <laughs> on the clock, unfortunately, or after work at like five in the morning outside my porch. If not, I'll go to like my neighborhood park and write or at work at night, preferably at night. Not really like a specific feeling. I try to do it every day or else I'll just lose it. But if I don't feel it, I just won't release it. How do you see your sound evolving in the next couple of years? Well, I hope that it evolves. I would never want to be stagnant. Um, I would see myself experimenting with new languages. How did you come to realize that music was the way forward for you? Um, I got a message that I, I changed somebody's day just by a couple words that I said on the track. And that feeling alone was worth it more worth than anything else the money fame whatever the fuck it is like being able to change somebody's perspective in any way and it be positive is amazing what 
Where is your career heading and what's the vision? My career is heading in a... <laughs> I would be following the source. Uh, that would be the God or the universe. So the music would just be speaking for itself. But the vision that I have, like I said earlier, I just want to be able to open people's minds up to their own feelings. What's the most trouble you've ever gotten into? Uh, I don't know. I think I could just say when I got arrested in New York for like a, a good amount of illegal substance. <laughs> Where do you think the future of the music industry lies? So I've been saying lately that I think it's going to be messy. And not in a bad way. I think everything's going to be integrated and we're going to have to become more acceptable to change. You know, back then it was just a certain way to do things, but now there's no rules. So, yeah, I think it's going to be messy, but in a good way. And how do you plan to break through? By following the source. The most successful and the best people, they, they're real because they follow the source, whatever source that may be.